Now that you've finished exploring moon phases, we are going to discuss two rare and beautiful cosmic events called eclipses. An eclipse occurs when an object in space gets blocked by something else. A solar eclipse, or eclipse of the sun, occurs when something passes in front of the sun, blocking it from view. A lunar eclipse, or eclipse of the moon, occurs when a shadow falls on the moon preventing the sun's light from reaching it. An important question when studying moon phases is, why don't eclipses occur every month? This is especially challenging to understand when looking at traditional textbook illustrations with incorrect scale. Almost always, the moon is drawn too close to the Earth and it seems very likely that the large Earth could block the light from the Sun. In reality, the path of the Moon's orbit is tilted just a tiny bit. This not-to-scale picture shows an exaggerated view of what we mean by a tilted orbit. Let's now go to a correctly scaled model of the solar system. Drawn in blue, is an imaginary line connecting the Earth and Sun, which is far to the right and not visible on the screen at this scale. The Moon is almost always a bit above or below this imaginary line connecting the Earth and Sun, so the Earth does not block the Sun's light from reaching the Moon. The actual tilt is very small, only about five degrees, but it is enough to move the moon above or below the Earth-Sun line most of the time when the true distance scales are considered. Now let's consider what happens when the moon is in the new moon position between the Earth and Sun. Because of the tilted orbit, the moon usually passes above or below the Sun from Earth's point of view. If we line up the Earth and Sun carefully and follow the path of the Moon, you can see that it misses the Sun and passes above it. Because we're looking at the dark side of the Moon, we see a new Moon. Eclipses are possible only about twice per year. Let's advance time to a date when we know a solar eclipse will occur and look again. See how the Sun, Earth, and Moon are all in a line? When this happens, a viewer on Earth sees the moon pass right in front of the sun. This is a solar eclipse. In August of 2017, there was a total solar eclipse visible in North America for the first time in many years. A solar eclipse is a stunningly beautiful event when you can see only the eerie outer layer of the sun known as the corona. It is rare to see solar eclipses because only a small part of the Earth is completely covered by the moon's shadow. Anyone outside this shadowed area would not see the eclipse. Now let's consider what happens when the moon is in the full moon position on the side of the Earth opposite the sun. Let's turn things around so the Sun and Earth are lined up in front of us. The Earth is behind the Sun. Let's zoom towards the Earth and see where the Moon is. You can see the Moon hovering above the Earth here, and both are being fully lit by the Sun. The Moon appears full to a viewer on Earth. Now let's advance time to a date when astronomers know an eclipse will happen. Let's go back to that same view where we've lined up the Sun and the Earth. If we zoom to the Earth, you'll notice that we can't see the Moon here like we did before. 
the moon is now hidden behind the earth. When this happens, the moon falls behind earth's shadow, and we see a lunar eclipse. Some light from the sun does pass through the earth's atmosphere and scatters to the moon. The light that passes through is typically red, which is why lunar eclipses appear dimly red, like this moon on the night the Boston Red Sox won the World Series in 2004.